During World War II, there were many quality problems in British industries, such as munitions, as bombs were actually exploding in factories as they were actually being assembled. The solution adopted to address these quality problems required factories to document their manufacturing procedures and approve by record keeping that the procedures were being followed. This type of standard was known as a management standard because it specified not with the manufacturing, but how the manufacturing process was being managed. In 1987, the British government persuaded the International Organisation for Standardisation, the ISO, to adopt the BS 5750 as an international standard. The international standard was named the ISO 9000. The ISO 9000, 1987, had the same structure as a British standard BS 5750, with three models for quality management systems selection for which was based on the scope of activities at the organisational level. The ISO 9001-1987 model for quality assurance and design, development, production, installation and servicing was for companies and organisations whose activities included the creation of new products. The ISO 9002-1987 model for quality assurance and production, installation and servicing had basically the same material as the ISO 9001 but without covering the creation of new products. The ISO 9003-1987 model for quality assurance and final inspection and test covered only the final inspection of finished products with no concern for how the product was produced. ISO 9000-1987 was also influenced by existing United States and other defence standards and military specifications, and so well suited to manufacturing as the emphasis tended to be placed on conformance with procedures rather than the overall process management which was the likely intent. ISO 9000-1994 version, the emphasis was on quality assurance through preventative actions and required evidence of compliance with documented procedures, as with the first edition. The downside was that companies tended to implement its requirements by creating many procedural manuals and became burdened with the ISO bureaucracy. In some companies, adopting improving processes could actually be impeded by the quality system. ISO 9002-2000 version combines all three standards, the 9001, 9002 and 9003, into the one called the 9001. Design development procedures are required only for companies engaged in the creation of new products. The 2000 version sought to make radical changes in thinking by placing the concept of process management in the forefront. Process management was the monitoring and optimization of a company's tasks and activities instead of just inspecting the final product. The 2000 version also demanded involvement by upper executives in order to integrate quality into the business system and avoid delegation of quality functions to junior administrators. Another goal was to improve the effectiveness via process performance matrix, numerical measurement of the effectiveness of tasks in an activity. Expectations of continual process improvement and tracking customer satisfaction were made explicit. The ISO 9000-2008 revision was published on 15th November 2008 and uses the same numbering system as the previous ISO 9001-2000 version. As a result, the new ISO 9001-2008 version looks very much like the old standard. No new requirements have been added, however some important clarifications and modifications have been made. As with the release of previous versions, organisations registered to ISO 9001-2000 were given a period of transition so that the ISO 9001-2008 standards can be met 